Hello and welcome to Fishing with Aero Kandiki. In today's session, we'll talk about braid use for your long line Aero Kandiki fishing. So with the Aero Kandiki, you're able to take your line a very long distance, past a kilometer, heavy sinkers, many hooks up to 25, and get in that range, you need a really good reel system and a good braid to be able to pull your catch all the way back in. With braid, when you cast in that distance, it's quite likely you'll get boats crossing the line. If you use a standard braid, which isn't a sinking braid, it's highly likely the boats will cross that line, grab it, cut it, or even pull your whole ro reel rod system into the water if it's unattended. Um, so this session is just to show you some various braids, how they behave in water, and to test for its basic effectiveness and whether it sinks or floats. Um, often braids are not clearly classified as sinking or floating. If they're sinking, they might be just a light sinking, which means they'll sink slowly, but they sink. And that increases your chances of being able to cast and not have it cut if a boat crosses it. So we've got three standard braids here. We've got our suffix A32, which is what we typically use. And I've just got two comparative standards, which is what's available in the market. These are quite cheap. Um, and, uh, and it is good in areas where you don't have to worry about boats. Um, you can use them, you know, no issue. But if you get boats crossing, you obviously you've got to be careful that you're not casting over a boat. But if, you are, if it's clear and there's a chance of a boat crossing, you should go with a sinking braid. So what we'll do is just do a basic demonstration to show it's floating sinking. And, uh, and it's basic this you can do at home as well. All right, so what we'll do is we'll add some water um, just to simulate seawater, we'll put in a little bit of salt. Um, it doesn't really matter how much you put, but what it does do is increase the density of the water so it makes things harder to sink. So it gives it a bit more of a challenge. Um, I do need to put in a little bit of detergent to just break the surface tension. Not much. And, and then just so this is one of the standard braids. So you can see that's floating. Sometimes it might take a while to sink, but in these ones they will stay floating. It's another standard. And then we've got the suffix A32. So this is the suffix A32. So I'm not sure if you can see it there, but the suffix has sunk and the other two are floating. So it, it's not easy to see, but you can see the green suffix A32 at the bottom there, and the other two braided cut pieces floating on the top. And that's basically a basic test to see if you've got sinking or floating braid. It may not specify it's sinking, but this test will tell you if it does sink or not. Thank you for watching this video. So the previous video we covered choosing your electric power reel. This one was choosing a braid, whether it's sinking or floating. Um, and the next one will cover setting up your reel, basically with the power pack, um, so that it's suitable for Aero Contiki long line fishing. So if there are any comments you have, please send them in and any requests for new topics, please request. Thank you.